Looking at the pool of data, it can be easy to see a cup half full or half empty. The number, uh, I believe, that the University of Washington has projected is 134,475 deaths by August. Yes, 134,500 by August 4th, yes. Dr. Ali Mokdad is with the UW's Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation. This is taking into account uh, the releasing, uh, a premature relaxation of social distancing. So some states right now, as you know, Florida, Georgia, they're opening businesses. So we are monitoring mobility. Yes, the Institute does project national total COVID deaths to rise, but not at the same rate. In Washington state, the daily mortality rate is already dropping, expected to plateau in a month. Others are quick to point out the UW model is not chapter and verse, that other models show a wide variance and use different methodology. The New York Times today even put the greater Seattle area near the bottom of new infections and new coronavirus deaths in metro markets. Why is there that uh, difference between uh, these projections? The models, all of them, are telling us exactly the same story. We have a deadly virus that is circulating in our population, and we have to be extra careful. And all the models are telling us when you, uh, when you apply social distancing measures, the transmission of the virus will decline. So I think there's what people need to understand, the really most important thing is that flattening the curve was the first goal. And we did that so that the number of, of people being sick and presenting in the hospital wouldn't overwhelm the health hospital system. Seattle's mayor says it does appear infection rates have gone down, but not out. We went from almost three, which is for every person who had the virus, they gave it to three people, to less than one, which is exactly where we need to be. Now we just got to make sure as people come together more, the virus doesn't increase to a point where it runs out of control. That's why she's still encouraging people to not congregate in city parks this weekend and stay the course to hold the line trending downward. In Seattle, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.